Hi, I'm Aperture. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the volume delta and the RSI to spot selling exhaustion and also see that absorption in a chart. This snippet is from a webinar I did on Wednesday, 14th of July, 2021. But I want to show you an example on, on this price action here. And the example shows how you can use a loss of momentum and some volume deltas to predict whether sellers are running out of steam because that's the example here. Sellers were running out of steam and actually that's where buyers took over and created this, this little pump over there. And in this example, we'll have to look at the 15 minute chart. And Bitcoin was in some kind of a downtrend, especially after this impulse moved down. It couldn't really break resistances overhead. So eventually sellers run out of steam and maybe buyers take over, maybe squeeze some shorts. In this example, I want to show you. You can see that loss of momentum with the RSI, but you also have to take a look at the order flow and look what the aggressive, aggressive sellers are doing here. Let's start with the RSI. During this impulse move, price found some kind of a bottom. And as you can see, momentum is fading. So you could see that. In this move down, the RSI was going up, so it printed some classic bullish divergence pattern, but the reaction wasn't that good. It was mostly reverting to the mean or reverting to that resistance. So that's where buyer, buyers aren't really stepping in, and actually this trend can continue down. And that, that happens. Uh, again, there wasn't other divergence over here on the RSI, but the same thing happened. And even the trend was intact because it printed lower highs, lower lows, and eventually it broke down again. But all these divergences show that at some point, sellers are running out of steam and buyers are absorbing that selling pressure. So eventually there was some kind of a divergence over here and sellers were exhausted and that's where we saw a, a quick bump. It's really hard to predict this from a technical analysis point of view if you just do it with support resistances uh, or the RSI. But if we look at order flow, you, you could have done it, but you, you had to be really, really quick. So we're focusing exactly on this bottom over here. And the chart I'm using for this example is the Binance BTC USD chart. It's the spot chart. Keep that in mind. On this volume delta over here, and before I go into what you see, you'll have to understand that Sellers and buyers constantly are crossing the bid. And the ones that are, or actually they are crossing the spread. And, and when they do, they, 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 they're taking these bids and asks. So if there is an aggressive buyer, it's marketing in a trade and actually taking that ask from the sellers. So that's the aggressor. On the other side, that's also true. So if there is a seller that's aggressive, it has to cross the spread and take uh, a bid that's on the other side. And by doing that, there is some intention in doing that because a seller that's willing to cross that spread is, is aggressive and really wants to be in a position and doesn't really mind that there is a small loss of crossing that spread. And also some extra fees if you know 
if they're more retail oriented, but if they're market makers, they might have less fees, but there is some intention to it and there is some aggression, but that mechanism actually moves price because when the bid liquidity in this case, because there are aggressive sellers runs out, that's where price moves. And this whole mechanism is actually why a market moves because sellers or buyers are crossing the spread and, and taking what's on offer there. And that's what we see on the volume delta. The volume delta shows that difference, that delta between these buyers and sellers. So if it's negative, sellers were much more aggressive. And if it's positive, buyers were much more aggressive. And that's what you see over here. This is the volume delta that's very negative. And as you can see in the chart, it means that Sellers were super aggressive and pushing price down towards these lows, but there weren't that much bids, or actually the bids couldn't really absorb that selling pressure and price moved. But what happens after is, I think, much more interesting because you can't act on this, this candle, because the candle is only five minutes long and you know it basically already happened before you even can open it. An exchange, but what happens after is super interesting. And we have to look at the CVD for that. And the CVD is the cumulative volume delta, which actually is some kind of a uh, running total of that volume delta. So it it just adds up all these these deltas here and subtracts all these deltas here, and it gives you an indication over time what the market is doing. And we can also look for divergences on that. And this is what I what I saw. The CVD over here is going lower and lower. So there is more aggressive selling at these lows. And keep in mind, we were at a support level. So basically, there are some people selling into support, whether it's for selling, whether it's just selling or shorting, but this creates that selling pressure and they really want to sell. But they can't push through because if you look at the chart, price is basically going sideways. There are some deviations, but that's it. And when stuff like that happens, if the side is basically losing from these absorbing bids, when in this case, the buyers start buying and pushing back, there isn't much selling pressure left because these seller, sellers are um, not, they are aggressively selling, but they can't push through. So they have the risk of losing their profit or the risk of, of losses. Um, but also there might not be selling as in asks. So there might not be limit sales above price. And what then happens if these sellers hit a wall, and this is a, um, a buying wall on, on spot, all that selling pressure becomes absorbed. There aren't any sellers left. And the only thing that's left is basically market buyers. And that's where you get a reaction like this, where price suddenly moves fast and, and bumps up. So this move in the morning, actually my morning or for fellow Europeans um, happened quite fast and in, happened in a few minutes, but there was that big imbalance in buyers and sellers. And there is some other indication that at these levels, price would maybe exhaust. And that's, you know, if we take a look at liquidations, these are the BitMEX liquidations, which lately have been really useful in analyzing this order flow, but um, exactly, or, you know, almost exactly those liquidations were tapped. And after that price pumped towards these liquidations over here that were caused by this dump. So it's, it's all a game about liquidity and, and finding which side is on the wrong side. And this is a, such a beautiful example of that. 
Um, and also on this chart, I also put the volume delta in, which is aggregated and cumulative from lots of these exchanges. And you could see something similar aggregated, but I think this move was uh, mainly caused by, by Binance with spot, maybe together with that BitMEX grab of the liquidations there. So this, this was the example on this chart.